Y'all know what's crazy? Let me tell you how small of a world it is. We out here in Mexico right now. We was on the island a little, little while ago. We just got off. Um, and we were walking. And somebody had yelled out, engraving? I said, hold up, what? And shout out to my guy, Will. Somebody in Team Keep It Clean. He was out here with his lady, Lauren. And I was like, well, man, that, that's crazy, man. It's, it's such a, a, a small world, man. Um, but shout out to Mexico. Mexico was super fun. Shout out to Will and Lauren. Nice meeting y'all and appreciate y'all too. Anyway, um, the trade deadline has come and it's gone. Uh, and the Ravens, they did make that big splash move. Uh, and it was on defense. That's for Aquan Smith. Again, the trade for that was the, the second rounder, the fifth rounder, and AJ Klein. And we did, we, we got a video on the way coming up later that's going to really, where we really dive deep into that trade and what it could mean for the future of the Baltimore Ravens and I give a more thorough uh, explanation of why I feel the way that I feel about the trade and what I feel like what I feel like it means for other players on the team so y'all look out for that in the next day or two or three or whatever um, but the trade deadline is coming on um, and a lot of us I know me I was hoping that the Ravens uh, were gonna try well not try we're gonna actually get it done uh, when it came to making something happen for a wide receiver but they didn't do it and I wasn't surprised I wasn't shocked I was disappointed but I wasn't shocked um, simply because of the way that they've gone about doing things over the course of their history their, and especially their recent history too um, it's just not a position that holds value to them like that um, I know I've talked to some different people. I've, I've engaged with some different people, especially like on Twitter and stuff. And uh, and it's been some some fun conversations. Um, like one one guy was saying that uh, he won't be surprised if um, if if Ravens fans keep complaining about not getting a wide receiver. Um, but I was like, hey, that's that's just who they are. That's just who the Ravens are. And I replied to him. I said, I won't be surprised if Ravens continue not to value the position. Uh, Cause they haven't. Like Ravens have been when it's come to the receiver position, they've been reactive instead of proactive. Um, they've done bare minimum after the fact instead of taking care of stuff before the fact. Um, and I mean, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens now. Uh, but as far as uh, the, the the day was crazy. The day was crazy. Bradley Chubb, he got traded to the Miami Dolphins. Miami Dolphins, like, they ain't stop. Miami Dolphins is a team that's, like, literally nonstop. Um, who else got traded today? Uh, oh, Chase Claypool, he got traded to the Bears. I was happy for Justin Fields. I, I was happy for him because they, they added an, a, a nice piece around Justin Fields. Uh, we know he, if they could just clean up the, um, the mental mistakes from Chase Claypool, they'll be in good shape, man. Um... Who else got traded? I know Bills, they got Naheem Hines from the Colts, and he's like a, an all-purpose type of back. Uh, receive, nice receiving back out of the backfield. Um, decent running back, but the good return man, so they can, he, can, he can give them something there. Uh, so they got options of different things that they can do with him. Um, what am I missing? Oh, William Jackson, he got traded from the Commanders to the Steelers, so he's back in the AFC North. Uh, Brandon Cooks, he got excuse, an excused absence today, but we all know that's because the Texans were trying to trade him, but they couldn't come up with a trade partner. So, it, And for that one, I was actually not mad at all because I was very like fearful. I was fearful. I was scared that we were going to get a notification. Oh, the Ravens traded for uh, wide receiver Brandon Cooks. And that's just, that's a move that I'm not mad at. I'm not mad that that did not happen. Cause I, yeah, I'm nah, no thanks. Um, but yeah, man. Uh, so now, hey, Ravens are who they are now. Like officially, they could pick up some guys in free agency. They could pick up some guys like that's that's still out there. Um, but pretty much, the Ravens are who they are. Um, and they they gonna have to ride it out now. They gonna have to ride it out now. So let's see how it goes. Obviously hoping for the best for them. Um, obviously hoping that what they did in the last game. Like I, I just I, my biggest hope now, especially with the schedule, the way it's looking. Because I know y'all keep y'all have continued to see that um, that statistic. Oh, Ravens, the rest of the teams that they got on the schedule, they don't have winning records. 
I know some of that could change from now until when the Ravens play some of them, depending on what week it is and whatnot. Um, but basically, overall, the teams that the Ravens got left on the schedule, they have not been successful this season. So Ravens need to take advantage of that. Um, Ravens have gone up against some tough teams early on, some very tough teams. And they're going to still face some tough teams. Just because these teams, uh, their, their record is what it is, doesn't mean that these teams ain't going to show up. But it's important that Ravens just really try to build some consistency. Uh, consistency with offense, build off of that last game, build off of being able to make adjustments, build off of getting different guys involved, build off of just really taking advantage of opponents' weaknesses, man. Build off of that. Um, and then, of course, defense-wise, shout out to my, my neighbor, but defense-wise, the, they got to continue doing what they've been doing. And the defense should get even better. Um, they got a pretty good tackler uh, in Roquan Smith, Patrick Queen. I'm sure he's going to be right next to him doing this thing, uh, at least for this year. But then and, and, and we'll see how it goes from there. But, um, again, man, I, uh, yeah, I, every, every time I got a notification, I was thinking, oh, are Ravens going to make a move? Are they going to do something else? But, no. And one of my guys, he told me, he said the Ravens, he said they did try. He said they did try to get a wide receiver. He said they made an offer, but it obviously – didn't end up happening um and with that offer i was uh very pleased with it but it just didn't go down uh so and i think a lot of team keep it clean and ravens flock and whatnot they would have been very pleased with it too but um it is what it is at this point man it is what it is um edc is it's crazy because um when it comes to defense when it comes to defensive players oh man he gets the job done he gets it done every time, though, though the trades, well, not every time, but more times than not, he gets it done. I know last year for Xavier and Howard, it was said that they were talking to him, but it just it didn't end up working out. Oh, man, I wish they would have got him. Um, but with Roquan Smith, they got him. Calais Campbell, they got him. Yannick Ngakwe, initially they didn't get him, but then they came back around, they circled back around, and they end up getting him. Um, so with defensive players, yeah, he usually gets them, but it's them offensive players, man. That's where the, the, the struggle is. Uh, so yeah man um one thing i do like about the roquan smith trade because i know it's brought up a lot of questions and stuff about like contracts and whatnot amongst lamar and roquan smith marcus peters different different guys and whatnot i like the fact that you get the player you worry about all that contract stuff later even though you know they already thinking about the contract with roquan smith because that dude ain't gonna be no rental but i, I like it you, you get the player get the playmaker get him on your team you worry about the money later on. That'll it won't handle itself because you got to handle that. But still, so anyway, um, is what it is. Uh, let's see how the rest of the season goes. Um, a lot riding on just I mean the guys that are there. So it's really officially like up to them now uh, to get get the job done. Mark Andrews or Lamar Jackson, obviously the offensive line. Mark Andrews likely Oliver Kolar eventually. Um, Duvernay, Prochet, Demarcus Robinson, Tylen Wallace, Deshaun Jackson. So he, he, he's got to be like sort of a savior for the Ravens because the Ravens Ravens been playing it very safe these past couple of weeks. Uh, they ain't been going deep. Like, they ain't been going deep at all, really. So Deshaun Jackson got to be like a, a deep ball savior or something like that. Um, so, yeah, man. I, again, I, I am disappointed, um, but not surprised, not shocked, anything like that. So. See how it goes. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. And we out.